Hey, what's going on? Well, this radio has a bad RF board in it. And uh, it's also got, uh, well, it's got a lot of things wrong with it. It's got dead pixels on the LA LCD. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to take a radio like this apart without really screwing it up. As you can see, it powers on. It's got a fail uh, 0182. Can't really do too much with it. Uh, maybe it could be cleared in the RSS. I don't know. Uh, anyway, you power it down. You move the battery. And before anybody gives me any shit about uh, static and all that, uh, anti-static, uh, this radio's bricked. So, you know, save it. Anyway what you do is you're going to need a tool like this and Motorola makes them cost about seven eight bucks uh, don't try and open a an XTS radio case without one because if you do you're going to thrash this to pieces and you're going to probably break the o-ring in fact I guarantee you you'll break the o-ring in it uh, this is a special tool it's made just for opening cases, for popping open cases. Make sure that you have the antenna out uh, and everything out of the way. You slide this in. It slides in just like it's supposed to. No screwdrivers. You hold down and you gently lift this out. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get to the module, which does not exist in this radio. Okay, once you have this out, you gently lift this out. Be careful of the flex. You've got a flex connector right here. It's a B-type connector. You disconnect that. And you've got your radio case, which isn't in very good shape. You've got your LCD to get this LCD out. You've got two little places here that I would suggest you pop up with your handy dandy Motorola tool. And your flex pops out. So you've got the flex to the LCD. That's what an LCD module looks like. They're very, very delicate. You've got this little, it's I think called a brown finger uh, that compresses up against the case. Make sure that you have that in place uh, when you reassemble. We'll go through that. But anyway, okay, now what I'm trying to do, first thing is to go ahead and remove the O-ring carefully. XDS 3000 O-rings are pretty sturdy but you know if you go and try and lift them up without it you're gonna fry it or you're gonna break it rather uh, I'm still on the anti-static <laughs> anyway you've got two clips here you can gently take a very very small screwdriver that just reaches the groove just hits exact Stanley makes it uh, and you can pop these two clips out now before you do that <laughs> before you do that another wise move to thing to do would be you've got a flex clip that you need to pop off and I just prefer popping it off before you start wrenching on this because you know I mean uh, you really don't want to thrash it out but this will expose this will lift off there's a little groove that this seats in it seats in the board here so you've got to be careful with it 
And it's a bricked radio, so no harm done. And I've done this several times, so, uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal if I fuck it up. And I haven't fucked it up yet, so... Uh, let's see here. This... slips off. There we go. And you just lift this off. Be very careful with this. If you're not careful with this, this flex is very, very brittle. Okay, by the time you get that off, then you've got the controller board. It's got a little tab up here that you've got to be careful of. What you do is you lift the board up from the back and you slip it out. There is a bad Apple RF board, or controller board rather. Bad controller board, piece of shit. Brick. Okay, now, <laughs> what I was hoping to find here were a couple, uh, was a dual encryption board. Well, somebody robbed it. So, uh,. I, you know, if I were to keep this radio, I'd be pretty much shit out of luck, you know, for a board. Uh, you can get a board, an encryption board. That came with one. That This is a military radio. It came with one. Uh, I, some, evidently, some, some guy got to it uh, and snapped it out of there. But, you know, that's, that's what I was after. And you can put the board... <laughs> board fits in a tray, you set it in, and you attach it. Now, to reassemble, I'm not taking this apart. I don't want to start dicking with that. Uh, there's this up here, the antenna. Uh, there's a lot of really, really delicate things on these radios that you can screw up. What I've done so far would probably be enough to screw up a radio. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, but at the same time, this thing's a brick, so I really don't give a damn. Uh, see these? This is just pretty much just a basic gorilla, uh, emphasis on gorilla, way to disassemble and reassemble a radio. But I'm not doing it too bad. I could do it better. So you clip your flexes on, you push. There's a guy named Bat Dude uh, that actually made a really, really good PowerPoint on this. And he goes deeper into it, and uh, his radio is a brick. So he does, he does a real good job with it. That's what I went. Uh, Bat Labs, you can go to Bat Labs and get it. To get this LCD on, be very careful with it. This is one of the most brittle parts of the radio. And this LCD is missing pixels, which really sucks. Because these LCDs are not only hard to get, but they're expensive. But it clips into a groove. Now, you've got a little rubber tit, for lack of a better, better word. Uh, on this right down here and you've got a little groove right there that slips in there don't fuck it up that slips in there now you've also got some shock mounts that this LCD flip fits in you've got to get these fit in slipped in right Okay, so make sure that this is seated in there properly. There are posts that come up from the radio. Make sure these are seated in properly. Make sure that tit is properly in its place. Make sure before you do anything else which we're getting ready to reassemble. Make sure that you wipe the damn screen down. The fella who snapped the uh, encryption board off left his fingerprints 
on the board. He was a brilliant, brilliant guy. He's probably one of the reasons that this radio is bricked for the most part. If it didn't have a bad RF board, the case isn't in that bad a shape, but it is, you know, it's got it's got its problems. But anyway, you uh, you slip this O-ring back on. It goes in grooves, and be careful with it. These aren't as brittle and bad as the HT-1000s are, but they're still a pain in the ass, and you've got to get them on right, and if you don't, you're going to pretty much snap it uh, if you don't know what you're doing. Make sure it fits along the rails like it's supposed to. Okay, this is the B connector. They make an A connector and a B connector. Make sure that you get the right, if you have to recase a radio, make sure you get the right one, right connector for it. The easiest way I've found to clip this in is to line it up, give even pressure, look at it from the side, make sure that you don't tear that flex because if you do that you're going to fry out your flex you don't want to do that okay then you push upwards okay you're getting to the point where you kind of hold your fingers on this and you give even pressure downwards now a good idea is to slip this in. You don't have to, but it's a good idea to slip this in backwards in the groove here, this bottom groove, just to make sure that that O-ring seats in there right. Give even pressure, and it's in. You'll hear a snap. So, Let's see if we did any significant damage to the radio, which, you know, bricked in the first place. I really don't give her ass ass. Needs an RF board. It needs more than I really want to dick with. But, as you can tell, same deal. Fail 082. That's what you do to pretty much check to see if it's got an encryption board in it. It doesn't. So, you know, pretty much shit out of luck in that area. But, that's just a general, on a bricked radio, you can do that if you if you have a good radio. Uh, my, <laughs> the safe bet to do is make sure that you have, uh, make sure that you watch for static. Uh, you need to have the proper tools you need need to have a good bench and uh, on something like this I really don't care about so I'm just kind of giving you a, a gorilla uh, a gorilla takedown of how to disassemble one of these radios to that point uh, anyway take it easy guys later on enjoy whatever <laughs> later